Hello, this is an Autodesk Forge Webhook sample with BIM360. Uh, for this sample, I'll be using Data Management API to list all my BIM360 files. And when a new file is uh, uploaded to BIM360, I will use Webhooks to notify about that new file and check when that file is fully translated and use the Mod Derivative API to access the metadata of that file. The sample was created with .NET Core. I'm also using Hangfire to manage the queuing, the, the jobs that I have to do. And I'm using Mongo database to store the information that I need, in this case, uh, the access tokens. So let's see the idea of this sample. Here at the bottom, I have my application running. And, uh, and here is the application. So when I sign in for this application, I have to type in my password, of course. And uh, once I log in, I will keep record of that uh, of the access token on my database. So if I go to the database, I have the access token and when it expires and, and the refresh token as well. So the, I need this because when the webhooks, uh, webhook call back, I will need this access token to access the data. And I may need to refresh that as well. So here on this screen, I have the Hangfire dashboard. When, where I can see all the jobs I have uh, for this application. As, as I'm just starting, there is, there is no job yet. And uh, when I upload a new file to BIM360, that will trigger the webhook that I, that, I, that I create, and with that will trigger the ng rock. So on my application, I can click here and see that I have one webhook already. I can stop that webhook or create a new one. So now I'm, I'm creating a new webhook for this application. So let's go to BIM360 and upload a new file. So uh, before I do that, when the file uploads, uh, I will just receive the notification. And just for this sample, I'm right, uh, uh, outputting here on the console of the application uh, the event that I just got, in this case, uh, version added. And uh, I'm just showing uh, how, many how many times I retry to run that. So let's try to upload the file. So this is the file. So when it uploads, I will see right here a new uh, version added event that the application received and that will immediately trigger a new scheduled job on my on my queuing system on, on this screen. So it's uploading the file. So now I should receive the version added event, version added. I see a new job that was scheduled. Uh, that's a webhook that was called. As you see, I return uh, 200 immediately. I don't want the webhook to uh, keep waiting. And my job will try to run. Uh, for this sample, I try to, I'm trying to run every five seconds just to try. And as you see here on the bottom, uh, when, I, when I try to see the metadata, it's still translating, it's not ready. So uh, I'm throwing an exception. So the hang fire will try again uh, after, after, after a moment. And uh, that's just a trick to retry if I throw an exception. And if I go, uh, to my list, I can see that is some, there are some retries for this job, and it's retry one of ten, and it just did again, retry it again, and uh, that should uh, keep keep retrying that job, retry two of ten, until the translation is ready. So let's expand this, so I can see what's going on. So that was the uh, the the webhook calling. And the only thing I do here is to schedule a job, and uh, that will that job will, when it runs, it it uh, receives the user ID, go to my database, get my token, and with that token I try to get a derivative. And if the translation is not ready, in this case it's still in progress, I'll just throw an exception to force a retry. And as you see here, it's retry three of ten. Uh, you can also use a, a, a bigger uh, time to avoid retrying all the time, of course. But uh, so that should retry a few times before it's ready. And in this case, it's very simple. I'm just writing the manifest. But you can now, now that the manifest is ready, you can use that to access uh, the metadata for this file and let's say analyze the drawing or generate a report or create, I don't know, an Excel file. You can do anything. So if I go to my list of jobs, I see that the job is still scheduled because it's retrying. And we will try in a minute. 
and I can see that it's still scheduled but it's not trying yet so now the job is again in processing and now it moved to succeed it because it, it completed and as I said it's just a very simple I'm just outputting the uh, the manifest here but you can you know do something with this with this metadata and the job is now on succeeded if I click on it let me expand this and I can see that this is the job and uh, those are the parameters I passed it to the job which is the user ID that I use in the database to, re to uh, restore the access token uh, this is the project name and this is the version ID for that file that I want to read the manifest that's it thanks for watching